What is that noise? That's so irritating. Where's that sheep in the tree? What the heck is it doing up there? Ah, <sighs> peace at last. Well, um, hello there. Cole's here, and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. And um, today I am playing on my big early access world. Um, which is, you may remember it as the one where we have, have been building the, um, the oil rig in the ocean over there. As well as our oil refinery island, which is just this island right in front of me now. And at the moment we're just building on this island. It's not too far from that one. Um, and I decided it was kind of like a, a big mountainous but kind of small island still and I thought it would be really cool to make the whole island into one big castle which is going to take a lot of time and a lot of work but uh, you know we're playing as the construction worker so we are definitely the right man for the job um, so yeah, I guess I'll quickly run through what we've got so far. I have this kind of uh, main castle bit here. Um, originally all of like the roofs and stuff were that brown colour. But I took um, the tower... Wait, I'll show you in a second. The Okay, so from that castle over there, I took the top of the tower and put it onto the tops of all of these all of these towers because it actually fit on just perfectly and looks really good um, and basically with this castle at the moment I'm just going I'm just um, refurbishing it I guess recolouring all of it uh, as you can see these walls are kind of this lighter grey mixed colour now but before they were just this dark grey colour here so I'm just trying to add texture and colour so the whole castle matches. As you can see, there's still a lot of um, dark grey parts around. Like, like these, um, I don't even know what you call these things. But these are all going to be light grey, at the moment they're all dark grey. So they'll be like that instead. A very slight difference, but um, obviously it keeps the consistency throughout the castle. So this is going to be kind of a lighter grey colour as well. But I'll, I'm not just going to paint it. What I'm going to use is kind of some textured patterns that I've already kind of made. And uh, I'll just place them on top. Which is going to be... I mean it will take a while. It will take longer than just straight up painting it. But it's, you know, I could just paint it but there's no texture on the walls. Basically is the problem. Um... Okay, yeah, so you come out of this castle, and I've put this staircase in. I'll probably change it up. Um, it's just temporary at the moment. And uh, we've put this castle in. Uh, you may recognize this as the cloud castle, and that's because it is. I took the clouds off. In fact, you can see it over here because I've placed one in the sky. It's going to be removed later, obviously. But I copied that and I've put it on here because I really like this kind of arch this archway that it has so I thought it would be really cool to have that as like um, well I guess on the walkway up to the castle you have this cool archway they have to go through which is also a castle in itself and then you get up to the main part um, so obviously with this castle there is actually an entrance around the back I don't know where this is going to be uh, accessible from. I'm thinking probably up at that castle somewhere or something, like a tunnel or something. Because obviously you don't just want any old person getting in the castle. Um, yeah, because down here I'm thinking of having like a kind of little market stall area. Um, so yeah, I guess that's what we are going to work on today. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually put this kind of wall over on the other side of this walkway as well um, and to do that I could either just 
I mean, I could just copy it straight from here, I guess. It's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. And all we're going to do is go like this. I don't know how much of it we need. Let's go for that. And... I mean, yeah, that looks spot on already, so... I'll just place that around the place. Okay, so this is going to go right here. It doesn't go right into the corner like it does on this side, just because... In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Before I go any further, I'm going to copy this end bit right here. Um... Damn it, no, but we need just, literally just the end. But it's hard, it doesn't just copy the end. Oh, I did that time, okay. So this is what we need, and this is going to go, I think, right there. Okay, that's better. Okay, sorted. Yeah, this is where the, uh, the problems start, you see. Because now we have to somehow do this corner. I have no idea how. Um, so I think what we're going to have to do is cut this down even more. To about there. And that should be alright. We'll change it up. So it looks better as a corner in a minute. But yeah, there we have it. Alright, I think that'll do us for now. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to quickly going to delete these. We don't need them there for the moment. Alright, there we go, I've done it. Last thing I need to do is maybe make this bit look more like a corner. And to do that, it's going to be simple enough, we're just going to put... this one of these on the other side what the hell alright sorted maybe make it a lighter grey just so it's the same ok it looks kind of weird but I mean I, nobody's paying that much attention no one's going to notice so I think we're good now we need to figure out what's going on down here I kind of want, I kind of wish I didn't fill it in with this block and I just left it natural because that's what I want it to look like basically. Because it looks a bit of a mess now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of some of it at least. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now what we're going to do is build this wall going all the way down. So we just want to highlight a section of this wall, maybe up to about there. See how that's how that looks. Okay, that looks alright. We'll just get rid of the bottom layer though. Because we don't need that bit on. Okay, cool. And I'll copy that. We'll paste it all the all the way along the wall. And then we'll put in some grass. Okay, there we go. Why are we down here? Alright, oh, now we've finished that wall, uh, we're going to put this grass in, and we're going to use 
this kind of um, quarter circle um, thing, I don't know what to call it. It's just a, a land building tool. I'm going to put a load of land in to fill this gap. Try and make it look somewhat natural as well. There we go. So we've put in some grass, and it looks pretty tidy already. Um, but we can just smooth it, I guess, slightly. Blend in a little bit, but I think the slope looks pretty good. I don't want it. To, uh, I don't want to touch the uh, the castle with it. Just be careful. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So now it looks like the wall has been built into, you know, to the side of the hill. Carry on down here. And I've, uh, I've tried to blend it, this this kind of side into it as well. We could maybe put the land a bit higher. But I don't know if there's any need, because otherwise the land on the land here is just going to be like really steep. And I mean, it already is pretty steep. So I don't think we'll put it any higher up this wall. Alright, yeah, so that's that bit done, I guess. We'll put some, like, market stalls and stuff from this road, because it's a pretty, like, wide road. Um, Alright, so I just came back into the game. I did um, stop recording for a while and did a bit of work. Uh, so what I did was I completed this staircase here. I showed you it before, and it was literally just the skeleton of the staircase, I guess. But I've put these walls on either side, which I think look quite nice, and I've also built this hillside. So it looks like the staircase is built into the hill, which I think looks quite nice. I guess we need to uh, do this bit right here, though. So I'll quickly do that now. Uh, so we're just going to get a light colour grey. If I can manage to do that. There we go. Is it light grey? That's a dark grey, okay. Very good. <coughs> Oops, pardon. Alright, there we go. Um, what else is new since the last... Oh. Quick to do this. Alright, so I think this is new. Um, I've just put this tower here. On this like, bit of castle. Um, so I placed it so this kind of corner turret was at the same height as this bit here. So I could just build this bridge across. Which I think it came out quite nicely. I'll maybe change the railings. So it is the same as... I'll maybe just make it the same as these walkways. Um, Alright, so we go across here. And then I just kind of uh, built a flat top because obviously this this castle build is just one of the pre-built castle things, I think. Um, either that one or that one. Yeah, I'm guessing it was this one. So it's basically just that. I got rid of a staircase and uh, yeah, just put a top on it. And then I put this castle on top. This is another one of those cloud castle things. Um, so I'll probably change it up a bit, get rid of this massive hole in the front. I'll probably still have windows and stuff, but we definitely don't need this massive thing. 
Although it is kind of cool, it's like the the Assassin's Creed, um, what did they call them? Leap of Faith. We just need some uh, piles of hay underneath or something. Then we can just jump down. Oh, we're dead. Alright, so what else have we got? Alright, over here I'm building a load of towers. And we are going to have a wall pretty much going between each of the towers all the way down. And uh, these towers are going to go all along this ridge, pretty much all the way around the island, I think. And they're all going to be joined up with a wall. So, you know, that's going to be a pretty, that's going to be a pretty big wall. And uh, a very good defence for our castle. Because, I mean, these towers are pretty high. And, like, these cliffs are pretty, uh, pretty steep and high already. So, with a, with a big wall in between them... It's, uh, it's going to be pretty good. And you may have seen just there at the bottom, there is this thing. This, I think it's going to be some kind of maybe secret entrance with trap doors and like booby traps and stuff. Um, just kind of uh, a false entrance, I guess. I mean, the skull at the front is a bit of a giveaway. So it's kind of like enemies enter if you dare. And uh, I guess that's going to be the only, the only route, kind of inside of the castle walls, other than the main gate, which is obviously uh, going to be well guarded and uh, have good defences for, with a, probably a you know a big massive gate. Okay, so I think what we're going to do now is kind of I was saying that we're going to have like a little market stall here, so I'm going to put some objects and stuff down and kind of see what it would look like. Uh, we want market. Market. Meat market stall. Okay, so we don't want to block up the main road, obviously. But I mean, there is plenty of space, I guess. That's one. Okay, that's a, that's a start. Do we want two right next to each other? I guess we could. They're slightly wonky. It looks weird. What's that all about? Uh, we're also going to have to put some people here as well. Because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a boring market if there's literally no one there. Alright, I guess we're going to go into objects. Um, Monster Festival. <laughs> it doesn't look very medieval, this. But um, I guess some people might be wanting pumpkins. I mean, I don't know if uh, Halloween was a thing yet. In medieval times. I mean, when was the gunpowder plot? That's, that was the start of Bonfire Night. I was like... I don't even know. 1066 or 9 or 1666. Wait a sec. Oh, 1605. 5th of November 1605 was the gunpowder plot. Um, so yeah, I guess that's still kind of medieval times. There were still kings and knights and castles and stuff back then. Um, Alright, yeah, so let's keep going, see what else we can find. Some kind of potion table. I don't really know. I don't know what there was at Medieval Market. Or do we want this bigger table? I think that'll do. Somebody's selling some nice jewellery and uh, stones and stuff, I guess that's possible. Don't know how likely it is, but I don't think it needs to be historically accurate, does it?
Alright, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we could do with... Oh, you've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> As if that just happened. Oh my god. Alright, what does he want me to do? I'll build it for him. Right. Ah, he's still trying to kill me. You are in trouble, buddy. You are in trouble. Oh my god, get the sword, you idiot. Come off it. Right. Just save your kingdom there, Mr. King. Okay. I don't want a reward. I just want you to, um, you know, spend a bit more money on your army and defences, please. So I don't get killed like that again. I just made him a nice market stall. And, uh, and then I get attacked. Okay. What a nightmare. Probably, is it going to respawn? It would be nice if it did, but it doesn't look like it's going to. What the hell? As if that just happened. Right, I'll, um, I'll, I guess I'll cut the video until I've finished it. Alright, so I've got back to where we were. In fact, I've actually made it a bit better because I've added on uh, this weapons dealer right here, which is pretty cool. Um, so we've got a little tent here. Got, in fact, we can't actually get in, damn it. So we're slightly too big, oh well. Um, there's some barrels at the back with some swords in. We've got this uh, gun rack right here. Uh, we've got a rack here with some axes and swords and stuff on. And another swords rack right here. And a crate of uh, our finest organic cannonballs. I've also put some of these, what are they called? Just wagons. Trailer carts. So there's one there and there's one over on the other side I'll show you in a minute. Um, I've put this horse, what are they called? Horse station right here. So people visiting the castle can tie up their horses here and they have some water to drink in the water trough. And next up we have our fishmongers here. They sell some different kinds of fish and crabs and stuff. You can have them cooked into, uh, I don't know, some fishy kind of meal. And uh, they also have some groceries as well. We've got some carrots and apples and stuff here. Uh, we've got our pumpkin dealer, uh, very cool, and um, obviously as it's nearly Halloween, I'm sure they'll be making a lot of money. Uh, we've got some just some crates and stuff, some barrels, and I don't know what these guys are selling. I guess it's maybe some kind of uh, witchcraft. <laughs> I don't know, um, but they do have a rotisserie uh, turkey. It looks like. It's a pretty damn big turkey, that. Jesus. Um, we've got our alchemists here. Very cool. Crystals and gems, diamonds, that kind of thing. You know, all that good stuff. And we've got this um, hay cart. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's a hay cart. There's another... Uh, trailer cart there. We've got some spare wheels and uh, buckets. We've got these benches. And, um, yeah, this another food uh, supplier. We've got some turkeys, sausages, steaks, things like that. As well as all our herbs. And, um, yeah, I guess they make stews and stuff that people can take away too. 
That's pretty good. Um, yeah, so that is our medieval market stall. And I don't really know if we'll have much time to make anything else in this video. But in the next one, I think we will try and uh, connect the walls up between the towers. Obviously, we've got this wall here. And that's probably the design that we're going to go for for the rest of them. Um, because it is basically the wall that we already have. But obviously it needs to be modified because it's not actually that tall. I can even find it. Wait a sec. Castle. Alright, yes, it's just one of these. But then obviously... As you can see, it's not that tall, so then you just have to make it taller. But it's going to be pretty challenging um, doing this. Because obviously the towers are at different heights, and they're not... You know, it's not like straight, there's bends and stuff. So I'll have to go down and uh, go around the corner as well to get to here from over there. But I think that is definitely something that we can do. And obviously it's going to have to keep bending around all the way along this wall. Um, it'll probably be quite... It'll probably take quite a while to do, but it's definitely doable. Alright, yeah, well, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. And consider subscribing if you want to see um, more of this castle build so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video i'll just give you a wave there we go uh yeah goodbye <laughs>